Hey guys, this is Abs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to share another video with you. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how to buy cut the cart page and how you can activate WooCommerce direct checkout on your WooCommerce website. Basically, what I'll be doing in this video is to show you how you can optimize your checkout process for conversion. So if that's exactly what you're looking at, let's get started in this tutorial. For demonstration purpose, in this tutorial, we are selling a smart mini voice control speaker. So right on my screen here, you would see that I have quite a beautiful landing page here designed for this speaker. And if you scroll down, you would see that this speaker has a lot of variation. And I have also other products I sell vis-a-vis -vis with this product. But you would see that the only option I have here is for people to add this to cart. And once they had this to cart, they would have to go to their cart page. So, for example, if I try to hit this, I will have the option to view my cart and then I will hit view cart. So, right on this cart page here is where I have the option to now proceed. So, let's see exactly how we can optimize this. So, if I come back to the back end of this website, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using a plugin. So, let's come to plugins and let's come to add new. So let's search for a plugin called Direct Checkout for WooCommerce. So you can see that we have a plugin here called Direct Checkout for WooCommerce by Quad Layers, and this plugin has 70,000 active installations. This plugin also have all five star ratings. You can see 319 people, and it was last updated two months ago, even though it's untested with a version of WordPress. But let's install and activate this plugin. Okay, we have this plugin installed, and if you come to our website far down here, you see a place for WooCommerce Direct Checkout. But if you come to WooCommerce here and come to Direct Checkout. So, under the WooCommerce settings, we have a new tab here for Direct Checkout. So, if you scroll down here under General, you can see. So, you see here that it says that added to cart alert, and if you over run this here, you say replace view cart alert with Direct Checkout. That's fine. Uh, so if you come down here to added cart link shop page, if you over it, you will say replace view cart link with checkout. Yes, exactly. That's good. So add that to cart redirect. If you over, you say add a cart button behavior. Exactly. So we have another option here for us to redirect our cart page to our checkout page or to whatever page you want to redirect them. So by default here, we have a checkout page, but if you want to redirect them to any custom URL, you have the opportunity to do that by using this. Let's just redirect people to checkout page. And that's everything we need to do. We want to replace our cart URL, apparently not. So let's save change. So that's it for general. So there's another option here for our archive page. So if you come down here, so on your archive page, do you want to replace our to cart text? You want to do that definitely. I want to do that for every of the product we have in our store. So if you have different variation of products, you can just add all of them here, both your group product, you can also add it to your virtual product, you can also add it to your variable product, even to your downloadable product. Just make sure that you had every variation of product you have on your store. Now, the question now is if you want to change your how to cut test, what do you want to change it to? So here is suggesting we use purchase, but we can just say buy now in case you're using WooCommerce to sell your online course or sell other digital products. It could download now, it could be enrolled now if it costs. But for the sake of this tutorial, we can just say buy now. So that's it. Everything we have to do here, we have to hit our save changes button. That's it. That's done. So let's go to the next one, which is product. So on our product page right now, do we want to replace the hard to cut text? Apparently, yes, we want to do that. And then we can also change this also to buy now. And that's it. And then we can hit our save change. We can also uh, come down here to our checkout. And I like this plugin. This plugin is quite fantastic at what it does. So you see that you have the option here for you to remove certain fields from your checkout just in case you don't require all the details that WooCommerce is asking. So you can say you can remove address, company, phone number. You can just keep counting all the things you want to remove 
just in case you don't want to collect ct post code address one address two all these things make your checkout page quite very boring and too lengthy for people this the simpler your checkout page the more optimized for conversion it is so uh this plugin does that and that's quite fantastic but i would not be doing this i would rather show you exactly how to further even customize your checkout page eventually okay so let's go over back to uh, a page here and then we can come back so here you can see that we still have a heart to cart button so let's refresh this page so you can see now that we have this option to buy now and if we click this now we are redirected to a checkout page like this you can see how easy it is for you to take your customers directly from your home page or from your product page to a checkout page and not just any checkout page but one that is quite this beautiful design for conversion as this so you can see that on this page here because i'm signed in uh, you can see that my email address have been marked here you can also see that uh, what i'm asking people all the details i'm asking people for is just their first name their last name the shipping address and their phone number for me to be able to fulfill their order and if they come down here they have the option to add a coupon code and then place their order it's simple and you can see i have my product here still flashing on their faces i can still for that style this checkout page for that to even add testimonials i can still talk about 30 day money back guarantee whatever i whatever i have to just convince people to buy that's quite very important for checkout page your checkout page cannot be a boring page it has to be as lively as possible you want to flash images of your product you want to put enticing words pictures that will make people check out that's quite very very important you would improve the performance of your woocommerce store if you can put these things in place if you want to know how i designed the checkout page like this you can check the description below for a video with a free plugin you'll be able to design this and also as a matter of fact if i were to check out right now it would take me to a a thank you page that is custom designed for this client and then they have access to go to their download or go to their product or whatever you are doing with woocommerce well i can also leave the link to that video to design a custom checkout page like this on the screen right now and you can just go to my youtube channel directly and you'll be able to see this tutorial here that says free WooCommerce checkout page customization with Elementor 2023. So that video is highly recommended for you to redesign your checkout page to something entirely beautiful. And as a matter of fact, it won't cost you a dime to do that. A free plugin will help you do that on your store. So that's my time for this video. If this video has been super helpful to you, you can give me a thumbs up you can let me know in the comments if you have any issues i will look out for them to assist you as much as possible as i can kindly subscribe to this youtube channel so that you don't miss out on any videos from me and that's my time for this video i will see you in another video and until then have a nice time